Five senior ISIS leaders have been captured in a joint operation involving Iraqi and U.S.-backed Syrian forces. It is the latest defeat for the extremist group, which has lost nearly all of the territory it once held in Iraq and Syria. Here's Jeff Pegues with more on this. The ISIS commander's confessions were broadcast on Iraqi television this morning. One by one, the men in the yellow jumpsuits and handcuffs admitted to being top Islamic State leaders. Their capture was the result of an elaborate intelligence operation run by Iraq and the United States. First came the capture of Ismail al-Athawi, described as a close aide to ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. U.S. and Iraqi forces then used an app on Athawi's mobile phone to lure the other men across the Syrian border and into Iraq, where they were arrested. The Iraqi government said information gathered during interrogations led to an Air Force strike it claims killed another 40 ISIS terrorists. Michael Morell is the former acting director of the CIA and a CBS News national security analyst. These guys have an understanding of what's happened to ISIS post-caliphate, where the senior leaders are in general, what their plans might be for going forward. U.S. officials say ISIS leadership has been decimated through airstrikes and ground operations, but al-Baghdadi is believed to still be operating on the border between Syria and Iraq. U.S. officials and the Iraqis, they're after al-Baghdadi. His removal would be a symbol of the defeat of ISIS in Iraq and Syria, and he is a galvanizing force holding the rest of the group together. So if he went away, it would splinter apart. So, Jeff, one of the questions here is, I mean, the administration keeps saying that ISIS has been all, all but defeated. Why is it still important to remove Baghdadi? Well, U.S. officials also believe that al-Baghdadi is a threat because he's inspired attacks here in the U.S. For example, in the 2015 San Bernardino attack, which killed 14, the shooters pledged their allegiance to the ISIS leader. Jeff? Jeff Pegues, thank you.